Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is John Hutt and today we are going to have a look how I use and how to program Logitech MX Master 3. For those of you who don't know what is this device, it's basically an ergonomic right hand professional mouse with a functional design. It has seven different buttons and you can program up to 27 different actions per app. If you use this mouse in combination with the Stream Deck, you can definitely improve your workflow and efficiency. I also have a video about how to use and how to program a Stream Deck. I'm going to leave the link of the video on the description below. And with that say, let's jump into the computer. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look to Logi Options Plus. If you have more than one device, you can add all of them by clicking on Add Device. In my case, I just have a Logitech MX Master 3. So let's have a look. Here on the left side, we have some setup options for buttons, point and scroll, easy switch, flow and global settings. We are going to have a look to the buttons. Here on the top right corner, we have our global settings. And the cool thing about this mouse is that you can have a different settings for different apps. Let's have a look to FL Studio. With this mouse, we have six buttons. Max Speed Wheel, Mode Shift Button, Thumb Wheel, Two Sides Button and a Gesture Button. Let's start with the Max Speed. So if I click on it, I have set up as a gesture with the preset of Zoom Rotate. Let's have a look on FL Studio. If I press the max speed wheel, you can see that I can adjust the zoom as I want. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay, next one, we have a mod shift button, a keyboard shortcut, which is F9. Basically what it does, it shows and hide my mixer. Next one, the thumb wheel, I have set up for horizontal scroll. I can go to the right, and to the left. Next one, we have a sides button. Let's start with this one on the top. And basically, if I single click, it's gonna copy whatever I have selected. If I click and move it to the left, it's gonna open an application. In this case, Logitech option. If I click and move it down, it's gonna delete. If I click and move it to the right, it's gonna apply this shortcut, Shift Y, which selects everything. And if I press the button and move it up, it's gonna cut whatever I have selected. Let's have a look. I can press the side button and move it right. It's gonna select everything. And if I press the button and move it up, is gonna cut. If I press the button and move it down, it's gonna delete. And if I press the button and move it left, it's gonna open my application Logi Option Plus. Let's go back. Let's have a look to the second side button. Let me click one of them. Okay, if I just click the button, it's gonna paste whatever I have selected. If I click the button and move it to the left, it's gonna apply option plus F8, which means shows and hide library. If I press the button and move it down, F6, which shows and hide a channel rack. If I press the button and move it to the right, Command and B, which basically duplicate whatever I have selected. And if I press the button and move it up, it's gonna apply Command and D, which deselect whatever I have selected. Let's have a look into the FL Studio. If I press the side button and move it to the left, it shows the library and hide the library. If I press the side button and move it down, it's going to show the channel rack and hide the channel rack. If I select all and I press the side button and move it right, it's going to duplicate. And if I press the side button and move it up, it's gonna deselect everything. And now let's have a look to the gesture button. If I just press the button, it's gonna apply option plus P, which shows and hide the picker panel. If I press the button and move it left, it's gonna apply shift plus P, which means that it's gonna select my draw tool. If I press the button and move it down, it's gonna apply the shortcut option plus C, which select the slice tool. If I press the button and move it to the right, it's gonna apply the shortcut option option plus E, which select the select tool. If I press the button and move it up, it's going to apply option plus B, which select the paint tool. Let's have a look into the FL Studio. If I press the button, it shows the picker panel and hide the picker panel. If I press the button and move it left, it's going to select my draw tool. If I press the button and move it down, it's going to select the slide tool. If I press the button and move it right, it's going to select the select tool. If I press the button and move it up, it's going to select the paint tool. Okay, that's all for me. Hope you like and learn something from this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. My name is John Hutt and I will see you in the next one.